Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're all doing really well. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign Sagittarius. If your Sun sign does not resonate so much this week, you might like to check out your Moon sign and your Rising sign and for love and romance your Venus sign because often these readings contain messages which are important to you at this time as well. So let's call in your angels and guides, spirit and source energy to be present during this reading for you, Sagittarius. Guidance for Sagittarius, please, spirit messages that need to come through for Sagittarius come through now. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave the rest. Not all the messages are going to resonate and that's okay. Just take what resonates for your situation. Guidance for Sagittarius, please, Spirit. Guidance and messages for Sagittarius. This card here. If you enjoy the reading, give it a like. Click that like button. Press subscribe and the notification bell if you would like to. I really do love and appreciate you all so very much for all of your support on my channel. Guidance for Sagittarius, please, Spirit. Guidance and messages for Sagittarius. Your energy, Sag, and the energy around you for the week. Well, let's take a look at your first card, your first message. We have the symbol of the table. There is hard work ahead, and you may be aware of this already. Maybe it's already started in your life. It could be related to your workplace, but it may be also relating to your relationship that you have with a friend or a family member or your love interest or partner. There is work ahead, so it's not going to be easy going, easy come, easy go. There is going to be work and effort and energy needed to make this situation successful. And we have the symbol of the ring. A marriage will take place either romantic or business. So with hard work and dedication, you will get the commitment that you want. And this is wonderful news, Sagittarius. I feel this is the answer that you need to hear. There is a commitment and this may be in romance. It may be in marriage, like it says on the card, but it doesn't have to be. It just means a formalization and a furthering of a commitment and a bond. So whether this is in work, business or romance or another friendship, you will have to discern that with your own intuition and with your life circumstances but spirit is pretty clear here by saying that with hard work and dedication there's going to be a commitment up ahead for you to enjoy I feel it's a positive thing and we have an older man or older masculine energy. Dealings or relationship with an older man or masculine energy is really important for you Sagittarius this week you may also be dealing with this person on an ongoing basis. We have the yoke. Feeling tied down or frustrated. That may be in relation to this older masculine energy, but it doesn't have to be. You'll know what's right for your circumstance. Feeling tied down and frustrated to a relationship, to a workplace, to your job, to habits that you want to break. There's a restriction here that needs to be looked at or will come up for you this week to be looked at. And we have the desk. Pay attention to your work, Sagittarius, your work or your studies, whatever you are putting your energy and effort into, pay attention to it. Don't miss any fine details and you're going to be successful. So pay attention and things will go well for you. Let's take a look at this card here overwhelmed and expressive i am now willing ready and able to listen and be heard i'm seeing that this is in a relationship you have a connection where you might not feel listened to you might not feel heard and you need to express yourself and if that's the current situation for you then it needs to be really looked at sagittarius this might be a very positive aff affirmation for you Sagittarius I'm willing ready and able to listen and be heard so there's that confidence coming up from within you may be public speaking or you may be teaching or learning in some way 
There may be a feeling here of being overwhelmed, as this card says, but I feel that with a calm approach and you being able to look at the dynamics and the exchange that's happening, you will be able to express yourself in the right way. Invisibility. Take off your cloak of invisibility and let your light be seen. You're hiding something from someone, Sagittarius. And your true light, the person who you truly are at the core, needs to be revealed. So for whatever reason, you're, I feel this might be for protection for some of you. There's a protective element coming into play and you're cloaking off some aspect of yourself. And so Spirit is saying, or suggesting, it's... It's important to take off this cloak now. It's important to take off this mask or this cloak or uh, instead of pulling back and stepping away, it's time to step forward. Interesting. I honor my sens uh, sensuality by exploring sights, sounds, scents and textures that make me feel alive and connected to my body. I'm getting a strong sense this is about intu intuition and about psychic sensing and feeling for a lot of you. There is a lot to be said about listening to your body and heeding the advice of your body and your senses when it comes to intuition. And that's what I'm seeing spirit is bring through for you today and for the week ahead. So keep a lookout for how you feel about things. Keep a lookout for any sounds, sense sights, anything that triggers your intuition or gives you a sign from spirit take notice of that we have the queen of cups and she is reversed so you may be dealing with a water sign um, perhaps a selfish destructive person it may be a feminine energy um, this person will want to manipulate you and control you and you will know if you have that type of person in your life or not this person is unpredictable and um, has unpredictable reactions, is cruel and seeks revenge. Perverse, twisted, crafty and dishonest, immoral. She uses people and then discards them. Do not trust her. So this is a warning for someone. Um, someone is displaying a negative trait of their personality around you. So just be cautious, Sagittarius. We have the three of pentacles. This may be someone in the workplace. Fighting over profit and who gets credit on project leads uh, leads to failure. So there's an energy spirits bring through where someone is going to fight you over something at work or something about financials. Uh, they might also want to get credit over a project which will lead to failure ultimately. Watch out for someone who is envious as well. No one will compromise so perhaps you may need to compromise here somehow in some way Sagittarius selfishness and preoccupation with profit profit and personal advancement will prevail putting individual needs above those of the group dooms new projects conflict at work or at home and maybe in the home environment as well but you will know Sagittarius what this is what spirit is saying here giving advice on here we have the fool. Now, the fool can mean a child or, so, or a baby or a new beginning. So that may resonate for you. And it says on this card, you are, are unpredictable, open, spontaneous, adventurous, and free spirit, a free spirit, and a dreamer. You are free of responsibility by choice and do not like restrictions. You have the soul of an entrepreneur. Signifies the start of a new phase in life. Trust in your own ideas and plans, no matter what others might say. So it's following through, thinking outside the box and having a bit of creativity to boot. So I feel that this energy is a good start. It is upright, so this full energy is very good for you, a new start for you. In this commitment, in this marriage, in this agreement with, with work and maybe relationships. Now we have another person here. It may be another fire sign. It may be another Sagittarius or perhaps an Aries or a Leo and they are reversed as well signifies a man over 40 or a masculine energy an older masculine masculine energy 
controlling, overbearing and quick to anger in interpersonal relationships and at work, judgmental and intolerant of others' lifestyles and opinions, ignorant, closed to new ideas. Someone may want to block your new creative idea or your new what you have to say, your ideas, they may want to block this somehow. Maybe in a maybe in work, but it could be a love relationship, romantic thing for some of you. But they're close to new ideas and suggestions. They prefer to maintain how things are going at the moment, the status quo. Prejudiced and rigid, this person creates conflict and unhappiness for you. Let's take a look at your last card here. We do have the star. This is a really nice sign to get Sagittarius. This is Aquarius's card, so you may have an Aquarius around you. This is the card of inspiration, insight, and hope. So there is hope in this situation. Um, but don't lose your groundedness and don't be um, discouraged by other people's negativity. Hopes for the future will come true. So there is a destiny element here for you where the future that you want can come through. Contact with someone who will dramatically change your life. Strong love between two people. Entering a period of serenity and satisfaction. Enjoying this calm period. Emotional needs are fulfilled. Share your good fortune if you have it, Sagittarius. So this is hope and a lot of healing goes along with this energy as well. You've got an interesting mixed bag here, Sagittarius. Lots of messages coming through from Spirit. I do see that there is wonderful news on the way ultimately. And I feel that there is some really good commitments and things going on um, in your life. But just be aware of um, some people or a person who is um, quite selfish, overbearing and don't let others these people or this person, you know who that represents, disrupt your own intuition, your own flow, your own ideas, because you they're really good with the star. There's, there's prosperity here for you. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Sagittarius. Sending you much love and light and abundant blessings, and I'll talk to you all again soon.